Hey everybody, Jackie Jean here. I went to the apple orchard yesterday with my son and totally had a blast. So um, I know that a lot of people like to hear settings, so I went ahead and I pulled that. I shot with my 24 to 70 millimeter. I wanted to get more of that kind of wide angle. And I had the f-stop at 2.8. And my exposure was set to 5,000 and my ISO was 400. I typically do shoot at 400 ISO. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add a sky in this. You know, you really, you don't need to. I mean, it's not like there's a lot of a blown out sky, which it was actually a really foggy day. But I like sky, so I'm going to add it. And it kind of adds a little bit more drama to it. And... Uh, and punch. So I'm going to pull one of my stormy sky overlays and just drag and drop. And I'm kind of looking at the lighter part and I want to kind of put the lighter part where he is because it's going to make it easier to blend. And then I'm just going to kind of set it right there. I'm going to go to my blend mode. So I am in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. If you are in Photoshop Elements, Creative Cloud or a CS version, you can do this with your skies. I've opened up my layers. If your layers window is not open, you can go to Window or Layers or hit F7. All right, so my blend mode is going to be set to Multiply, as you can see right there. And then you can kind of adjust it too, because you can see a little bit more. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and mask it. And I'm going to cover up some of that sky so we're going to mask the sky off of them and I'm going to do this at a low opacity now as I get closer to the actual sky and the tree line and moving it down now to about 15 percent I am all about blending just kind of look at it like you're painting and we'll do that a little bit right there too okay can see a little bit still on him so I'm just going to brush that off and I'm going to actually reduce the opacity of the sky to about 85 percent. So we've got it right there kind of just a nice it adds a little bit of clouds a little bit of depth right there and I do want to make sure so I'm going to go ahead and click on my sky I'm going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and by doing this I'm just blurring this the clouds a little bit because I want them to match the blur of the background. Really important if you're wanting to make your sky look realistic. So we'll blur it at about 9.1. Click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and merge my layers together. And we've got before and after. All right, he's got a nice little, he was pick, he picked up a watermelon right beforehand, so he's a little wet on his jacket. So I'm just going to grab my clone tool and just clone a little bit. Not a lot, but just to make it reduce that big old wet spot a little bit. So I'm just grabbing some different points. Kind of again, blending it in as best as I can. I take that part and then just edit fade back. And that's just kind of reducing that line right there. There we go. So now we've got before and after. And I'm going to go over to my actions. I'm going to go to my autumn collection. And I'm going to run falling leaves. I click OK. Falling leaves gives this nice little punch to it. It's still a little bit dark on his face, so I want to brighten that up. So I'm going to go to my layers. And there's an optional add-on brightness. I don't adjust in this collection specifically. I don't have an automatic uh, brightening layer so you would have to just add it so which is right there so I just you can see it's added and I'm actually going to increase it just a little bit more and then I'm going to mask around him because I want to keep keep a little bit more richness around him so and in that sky too so we're going to just kind of create a slight vignette There we go. Again, that's where the actions and now I'll totally show you a before and after. I'm going to merge my layers. We've got the official before and after. All 
All right, if you have any questions, I think you can comment on these. <laughs> so we can try that out. And if you have anything you like, like to see, what you think, all that stuff, let me know. And uh, thanks for joining me on this.